Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we finally have new Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl footage to look at. It came from the announcement trailer for the Nintendo Switch OLED last week. I waited a little bit to cover it because, I don't know, I had a bit of a feeling that maybe the fact that we were seeing new gameplay and seeing some improvements to the game in this trailer, that maybe it meant we were going to get a trailer soon, but nothing came. So with that being said, we're going to analyze this trailer a little bit. We're going to analyze the B BDSP footage that we saw, and I'm going to give my thoughts because I think there's a lot to say about this and a lot to say about the fact that Ilka has made some significant changes since the first trailer that we saw back in February. Let's get right into things. It was a really cool surprise to see Pokemon footage in this trailer. We've been wondering for weeks, honestly months now, when the next bit of footage from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl was going to come. We thought maybe a trailer before E3 or during E3. We were like, we were sure. We we're like, oh, if it doesn't come before E3, it's going to definitely happen in the month of June. And none of that ever came. It is now July. We are in the second week of July now, and we still have nothing. We have no new footage from this original trailer before this announcement. On July 6th, Nintendo officially announced the Nintendo Switch OLED model, which if you have not seen my video covering the topic, there's a link in the card in the corner right now. You can go check it out. But it is an improved screen, an improved Switch in handheld mode, but it really is not the Switch Pro that we had all been hoping for and that a lot of Nintendo fans had been expecting, that the industry as a whole had been expecting. It was a modest change. Now, before we keep going with the video, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video and hopefully, I hope, enjoying it are not subscribed to the channel. Now, subscribing is free. You can unsub at any time if I say something that you don't like, and it would do a ton to really show me that you guys are enjoying these Pokemon videos and that you want to see more in the future. So if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that button so you never miss another upload. But within this trailer, we saw brand new footage of a battle scene from Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and it took a lot of people by surprise. If you have not seen the footage, it's going to be playing in this video. Uh, you'll see it here, and throughout this video, there's going to be some old footage of BDSP as well for you guys to look at, and just look at some of the differences. We'll point out probably the biggest difference between this trailer and what we've originally seen first off the bat, and that is that the lighting is vastly different. It's a lot darker. The tone is a lot less bright, a lot less colorful. The grass is a lot more natural. It's not this big, bright, neon-ish, almost mossy color that it was in the original trailer. The battle scene just looks better lit. On top of that, the entrance for the trainer is a lot better in this scene. We see the camera almost pan around the trainer, so we see a side profile of him when he eventually sends out his Pokemon. And as you can see from the trailer, we're seeing a Buizel here, which is different from what we saw in the original trailer. And you can actually see a little bit from this Buizel what Ilka is working with. The animation for Buizel when you encounter it is actually a very similar, if not the same animation, that you get for Buizel in the Pokemon Home app. Now, for those of you who do not know, Ilka Inc., the company that is working with Game Freak, to produce these remakes is actually the company who developed Pokemon Home. Now, Pokemon Home is the multi multi-platform storage service for Pokemon. It replaced what Pokemon Bank was on the 3DS. And not only can you access it on your Nintendo Switch, but you can also access it on your phone and on your tablet as well. And you can look at your entire library of Pokemon seamlessly through all of these devices. It costs a bit of a fee, monthly or yearly, but Pokemon Bank also cost a fee. So this was nothing new when it was originally announced. But one of the most interesting parts of Pokemon Home is that they had brand new models for all of the Pokemon, brand new home models. And these were different models than we had ever seen for these Pokemon, 3D rendered models, and they looked really good. And a lot of that stuff seems to, and probably will, be carried over into BDSP. So I would imagine that when you look in the box, your box system in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, where you get to store all of the Pokemon that you've captured who aren't in your original team of six, you're probably going to see this same stylistic choice for the models and for the Pokemon themselves when they're being stored there. Considering the fact that Ilka reused this animation, they're probably going to be reusing that model as well. And listen, I don't really have an issue with this, personally. I don't think you should have to produce new models just for the sake of producing them. If they already have models that are good, I don't have an issue with them reusing. I understand that there was some criticism back with Sword and Shield that they reused models from the 3DS, but everyone needs to keep in mind that back when we originally got these new models on the 3DS, they had talked actively about how these models were going to be future-proofed. The problem came when Game Freak seemed, in a way, to, whether inadvertently or not, lead people on to think that they had produced new models for Sword and Shield, when in reality most of them, and most of the battle animations specifically, had been reused 
from previous games. This looks to be the same thing here. It looks to be that the Ilka motions, at least, the, 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 the actions of the wild Pokemon when you encounter it are roughly the same. So that's an interesting detail in and of itself. The other interesting detail is something that I've seen a lot of people point out, and I wanted to echo it. All of the footage that we have seen, whether it's been actual gameplay like we've seen in this trailer, or if it's been screenshots that have been changed or updated on eShot pages, all of them are from the battle scene. We've seen nothing, unless I'm wrong and I'm missing something, absolutely nothing of the overworld since the original trailer. This could just be that people want to see battles, people want to see the action of the game, and that's a perfectly reasonable thing to think. It's perfectly reasonable that that could be the reality, but couple that, couple that with the fact that we've seen these battle animations and this battle scene as a whole improve trailer by trailer, it's interesting to me that the overworld, which was, you know, decently criticized when the game was first revealed, they haven't shown it once. Could there be some slight graphical upgrades within the overworld? It would lead me to say yes, considering the fact that it seems that they are indeed still putting polish on this game now that it's July and the game is coming out in November. I would imagine that once we see another trailer for BDSP, which given the track record, we're, we gotta see soon, you would have to imagine, especially with Pokemon Unite dropping in a couple weeks now on uh, Nintendo Switch and it's coming to other platforms later, mobile devices, etc. You would imagine that during around the same time, we're going to see a full, proper trailer. At least you would hope and you would think, given the track record of how Game Freak and the Pokemon Company have unveiled things in the past. Will we see improvements to the overworld in that trailer? I believe we probably will, and we'll probably see a lot of the overworld. Wouldn't shock me if we see some new locations that we haven't seen before, some Pokemon we haven't seen before. Maybe some sort of tease as to how much of a one-for-one -one or a quote-unquote faithful remake we're actually going to end up getting with this. It's a big mystery, we're just going to have to wait and see. But I think it's really promising that in this little bit of time, also the, uh, the actor in this Switch OLED trailer just kind of sitting, you know, half sat down in his foyer uh, coming into his house. A little, a little strange. Well, I don't know anybody who sits down, immediately whips their switch out and starts playing without sitting or, you know, sitting, laying in bed, sitting on a couch, sitting on a chair, sitting at a table. He's just kind of, he's just kind of perched, you know, up against the wall, which it, it's a little weird. But it's nonetheless, it's really good that we got this footage. It's really cool that we're seeing more of BDSP, and I think it's a good sign that they're showing us this game running better and running improved. A lot of people on social media made the comments of, at least when this game was originally unveiled, that they said they're still working on it, changes may vary, not final gameplay footage. And people joked about it and said, oh, does that ever really happen? But yes, there's a whole, there was a decent amount of time, 10 to 11 months between release, release and reveal. They're still working on this game up until the end of its, up until the point where it's gonna come out. Of course there's gonna be changes, and I am certain that they looked and they saw some of the feedback from the community and they made changes. There's some notable things in this trailer. For example, if you compare Lucas's model in the original trailer and this one, Lucas's model now, specifically his hat, his backpack, the way in which he comes into the frame is incredibly detailed compared to what it used to be. It looks more realistic. It doesn't look as plasticky as it did before. Of course, this is still the art style that they're going for, and we all need to be aware that this art style is not getting some major overhaul. They're going to make subtle tweaks and improvements to this art style up until release. But if this is the finished product that we see in this battle scene right now, I'm more than happy with it. I think the model looks good. I think the Pokemon looks good. I think the lighting is improved to a point where I am I'm quite happy with it. And this is speaking as someone who did not inherently have an issue with the lighting in the original trailer, but now looking at it comparatively to what we've seen in this new trailer, I'm very happy that they decided ultimately to make a change. With that being said, I would love to hear what you guys think. Do you like the footage we saw and when do you think we're actually going to get a new real beefy trailer for BDSP or for Legends Arceus? I would love to hear what you guys think about those questions down in the comments section below. If you have not left a like on this video, please be sure to hit that like button or, you know, if you didn't like it, if you disagree with me, the dislike button's there too, even though I would more so advise hitting the like button. And with that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.